As I stated this morning, the Phillips saddle carries either rope hitch loads, like this, or the hanger position load, like this machine gun load. In all cases of such equipment, a special hanger has been constructed for each type of load. All these hangers are equipped with these quick-release devices. Speed up loading and unloading. Let's see how it works. This is the hanger which takes the heavy machine gun. There are also special hangers which have been designed to take the light machine gun and all other hanger positions loads. This is the hanger bar of the saddle. The hanger is hooked to it. And then strapped to the bottom bar. The ammunition box is placed on the hanger with the lid up and with the cut off corner towards the front of the horse. Then it's secured to the hanger with the quick release strap. Now we're ready for the gun. It goes on the hanger, muzzle to the front, and pentel through the hole in the hanger. Then it is held in place by the quick release straps. Now we will do it slowly, and you will note that this is a simple device. Yet the gun is held securely and will hold through the rough travel of the most difficult terrain. The spare parts roll is carried on top and is secured with straps. The heavy machine gun tripod The heavy machine gun load completed, including weight of gun load, saddle and harness, is about 200 pounds. These are the hangers that carry the heavy machine gun ammunition, and it always accompanies the heavy machine gun. On this horse, we carry 1,250 rounds of ammunition. the water container for the machine gun, the straps for securing this load, like all the others, are equipped with the quick release device. This load with saddle complete weighs about 195 pounds. The light machine gun load consists of the gun, the tripod, the spare parts box, and the hanger of ammunition, 
which accompanies the gun. The saddle with hangers and the gun load weighs about 175 pounds. This plus the breeching. The breast strap. The cinches. The mohair pad. And the bridle makes a total load of about 190 pounds. The light machine gun load is used in all cavalry troops in the light machine gun platoon. The ammunition load for the light machine gun is placed on the saddle in metal hangers. It consists of 1,800 rounds of ammunition and weighs complete with saddle and harness about 185 pounds. All these hanger loads are equipped with special hangers to accommodate the particular load they carry. And when correctly loaded and placed, they ensure proper balance and an even distribution of weight. Each one is equipped with a quick release device which enables it to be loaded or unloaded swiftly. Hanger loads are comparatively simple. You need worry little about balance or the even distribution of weight. But now we come to the more difficult subject of the lash load. Any item that can be divided into two bundles of 75 to 100 pounds each may be transported by pack over all types of terrain and in all conditions of weather. This load differs from the others in that it is a lash load secured to the saddle by means of ropes. Once you've learned to hang these loads correctly, you become a packer. Here is the equipment used for carrying these loads. First, the manta. This five-foot square piece of heavy canvas used to wrap anything that the weather or the animals in your train might damage. Let's see how it's used. Go ahead. Place the load diagonally in the center of the manta. Bring the nearest corner over the load. Then kneel on it. Then, bring the double portion over the top. Crimp the end and bring the flap over. Then do the same thing with the other end. Now the wrapped load is tied with a layer of rope, 30 feet of 3 8 inch manila rope with an eye at one end. Watch. A loop is formed. and drawn tightly around the bundle so that the eye comes near the top of one end of the bundle. Take a half hitch near one end. And another at the other end.
carry the rest of the rope around the bundle. Tie it on top with two more half hitches. The loads are now prepared. Now we're ready to lash the load to the saddle. But first we've got to find a way to hold it in place while lashing. Well, here's how it's done. The sling rope. Exactly the same as the layer rope, except that it has no loop at the end. Corporal, show them how you sling a load. The near packer doubles the rope and passes the ends over the saddle. Then the rope is spread apart to about three inches from each edge of the saddle. The packers place the bundles on their knees and prepare to lift them to saddle simultaneously. Are you ready? Ready. Up. Notice that each holds his load in place with his left hand and arm. The off packer now throws the ends of the rope over the top of the load to the other man. The near packer passes the rear rope through the loop, takes out the slack, and ties a square knot with his right hand. Then he does the same thing with the front rope. Passes it through the loop, takes out the slack, ties a square knot. The load is slung. The load is then adjusted so that the saddle is perfectly balanced along the horse's back. Both packers adjust the load for balance. The load is checked again. This time the saddle balances. The slack is put out of the way. We are now ready to lash the load. This is a fairly complex operation, so I want you to pay close attention. We'll take it slowly, going into detail, making every point clear. Give me that last rope. You will note one rope is colored, making it easier for you to follow the demonstration. This is the sweet and lash rope. Two 25-foot lengths of half-inch rope. With a four-inch ring braided into one end of each section. Between the rings is this spreader. Nine feet of rope braided into one ring, snapped to the other. The spreader makes it possible to adjust the lash rope for large or small loads. For the large load, a full spread between the rings. For a small load, The rings are pulled in closer. The packers are now going to lash the load with a sweetened diamond hitch. The name comes from the diamond shape the rope forms when the load is lashed. Go ahead, but take it slowly. First, the lash rope is tossed over the center of the load and each packer places his ring about halfway down the side load. Now the near packer passes his rope over and under the rear footrest. Then under the front footrest. Through the ring 
from outside to inside. Then down and under the horizontal rope. Again through the ring, then once more under the rear footrest. Note one fact here. He started with and ended at the rear footrest. Meanwhile, the off-packer on the other side has been doing the same thing with just one difference. He works in the opposite direction, starting with and ending at the front footrest. Now both packers are ready for the second stage. With the lash under the front foot rest, the off packer passes the rope over the front corner of the load, then around front rope of cinch part, over and under to the near packer. The near packer has put his rope, the white one, over and under the cinch part and passed his rope to the off packer. The off-packer places the rope over the rear corner of his load. The near-packer puts it over the front corner of the load on his side. Now we're ready for the last step, tightening and tying the hitch. Here the packers work as a team. Let's watch them closely. Each packer takes hold of the first rope he passed through the four-inch ring, calling. Are you ready? Ready. Down. Each pulls straight down, taking in the slack. Then each placing his foot on the bottom bar of the saddle, they call up, taking in all the additional slack and bringing the standing rope toward the four inch ring. Each man now holds slack. The off packer steps toward the rear and grasps the rope from the near side with his left hand. Take, this is the signal for the near packer to take in the slack. Take. And forms the diamond shape. Now he passes the lash under the front foot rest. Around the rear quarter rope. Then around the front quarter rope. The near packer is now ready to tie, but has to wait until the right packer has taken in his slack. The off packer, of course, will work in the opposite direction. He has the slack from the rear lash. Now he passes it under the rear footrest, around the front quarter rope, then around the rear quarter rope. Both packers are ready to finish up. Each puts his left foot against the bottom bar of the saddle. Note that packers are diagonally opposite, each bracing the other and both bracing the cargo and animal and takes up the slack by drawing the quarter ropes inward. Take. Now we'll tie. The near packer makes a double half hitch around the front quarter rope. And then tucks away the loose end. The off packer ties with a double half hitch around the rear quarter rope. and tucks away the loose end. Both making doubly sure that no loop is left free to hook on passing animals, trees, and so forth. There it is, the sweetened diamond hitch. The load secure, firm, and balanced. Sergeant Spencer.
Tomorrow morning, take your men for a practice ride. Cover the adjustment of cinches on the road and chambering. <laughs>